Chopra and I'm really looking forward to talking to you about the topic for today's video. I recently met a person that I care for so deeply and within a few short weeks of knowing them, I learned that this person is really struggling with a big challenge in her life. And being the person that I am, being empathetic and sensitive and, you know, having a big heart and wanting to just take care of people, I found myself getting a little sucked into this person's problem. And I wanted to talk to you about it because I get asked this question a lot. What do you do when you care about somebody, you love someone, you meet someone, you start dating someone, and you want them to make a change? You know that their life could be so much better, that they are worth so much more than the problem that they're giving so much attention to, all of these different things, but they are not ready and they're not changing. So I wanted to talk to you about it because I found myself really getting sucked into wanting to fix and save and rescue and all of this stuff that I really shouldn't be paying any attention to. If somebody wants your help, they will let you know. And I figured that many of you out there might have also struggled with something similar. So I wanted to give you a few tips. If you have someone in your life or you've recently met somebody that you feel you desperately want to help, that your heart is aching for, that you wish wasn't going through what they're going through, and somehow you kind of take on the energy of their problem, there are a few things that you can do to pull yourself out of it. So first things first is acknowledgement is always the first step, right? Like starting to acknowledge that maybe you're getting a little more invested in a way that's not healthy for you. Sure, it could be making them feel better, it could be helping their issue a little bit, but the bottom line is if they really wanna make a change, if they really wanna get help, they will do the steps to make that happen and you are not responsible for making that happen. So that's the first thing to realize, that you're not responsible for it and to acknowledge that it's happening and that this kind of cycle between the two of you is going on. So the other thing I want you to do, step two, is to set yourself up for success in a way where you're filling your time with things that lift your vibration versus sucking you into this person's problem. So again, we don't want to like, you know, make that person feel bad for what they're going through. We obviously do have a lot of compassion and love for their issue and their challenges. But this is about you. This is about taking care of you. This is about making sure that you are healthy. This is about you having healthy boundaries. It's like one of my favorite words. So set yourself up for success. Make sure that you set up a lot of play dates. Make sure that if you're the kind of person that, you know, is usually kind of a homebody and when you're home at night around, you know, seven, eight, nine o'clock, you start to want to reach out to this person. You start to get sucked into their energy. Things like that, those patterns that you've kind of maybe developed with this other person, start to break those patterns and those habits by infusing positive activities. Go to yoga with your friends, decide to go to a fun movie on a Saturday night, whatever it is, just distract yourself with positive energy, positive vibrations. So what that'll do is when this person starts to come around again or you start to connect with them and they start to pull you in, and again, that's not their fault, it's actually our responsibility to take ownership of the fact that we're letting ourselves get sucked in. But when that starts to happen, you'll be more inclined to go to a higher vibration. You'll be more inclined to say, you know what, I kind of remember this feeling and after I talked to you last time, I felt really low and this whole week I have been working on making sure that I feel high and then I feel good and, and I'm in a higher vibration. So I'm not going to engage with this and that is huge. That'll be a really, really big help for you. The third thing I want you to do is maybe something you're comfortable with, maybe it's not something you're comfortable with, whatever. It's up to you how you want to take this advice and what you want to do with it. But what I would do is pray. And when I met this particular person and I felt so called into their pain and I felt I honestly felt codependency come up. I felt myself wanting to take care of them and wanting to, you know, make a change, make a difference for them. That's something that I have worked through a lot in my life. I finally started to untangle myself from their reality and I started to pray for them. 
And that kind of eased my feeling of needing like I needed to do something and I needed to control it or fix it or change it in some way because I gave it to God. And that's really the thing that makes the biggest difference for me in my life. So if you're not someone who prays, if you don't know how to pray, if um, you know that's not a practice that you have, it's totally fine. You can do whatever version of that feels good to you. So it might be journaling about them. It might be just needing to vent to a friend about them. Not overly, but in a way that supports you and the struggle that you're having with the situation. And if you are comfortable praying, ask God to take care of this person. Ask God to take care of their heart. Ask God to surround them in light. Ask God to send them love. And pray for their peace. Pray for their healing. And also pray for yourself that you're able to give it to God, that you're able to surrender this. So I hope this video helps you. Boundaries are a huge, huge buzzword in my world and there's something that I still work on every day. I had no idea until recently how many complexities there are with the boundaries conversation and how complex it is with relationships and friendships and romantic relationships and family and you know, I feel like every week, every month, I'm learning a new layer of how to have boundaries. So this conversation is for you if that's something that you've been dealing with. And I hope that I was able to support and help you a little bit along that journey. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. It's always such an honor to be with you. If you liked this video, please share it. Send it to a friend that might be struggling with boundaries. Send it to your family members if it's something that you're all working on. I'd love for more people to hear about it. I love you and remember, love yourself first.